sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fellow sports TV in the building on a sadder note. I believe he was undrafted free agent out of Stanford. Doug Baldwin may have to retire due to accumulation of injuries suffered through the NFL. Uh, one of the toughest SOBs I've seen play the receiver position. But we back. Good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another. Excuse me. Won't miss another video. And Doug Baldwin is done with a knee injury. I believe a shoulder injury, a groin injury. He's been dealing with multiple injuries, and the, the Seattle Seahawks are going along, and they drafted DK Metcalf, salute to Ole Miss, uh, to to basically replace him uh, because Doug Baldwin is believed that he may have to retire. He would love to come back to Seattle, but the accumulation of injuries, I mean, I'll link the article in the description. You can see exactly what the injuries are. I know it's a knee, a sports hernia, and, and some other. It's a, just accumulation of injuries where his body is just broken down playing the game that he loved. And that's why, that's why I tell you, you really don't know from year to year and sometimes even week to week and off season, month to month that where these players are at, some players be, play like shit, the, you know, the reinception of, of uh, Jerry Rice. And then the next year they fall off because in football, you know, you know, your body can just break down like that. It's a, it's a cumul- cumulative punch count that your body can take as far as blow count. And only so many blows, you know, your average NFL could play. And the average NFL span is like maybe two years or under two years, two seasons, I believe. And I talked to former dudes that played at Notre Dame. You know, one guy played for the Green Bay. And they all say pretty much the same thing. It's not for long. That's what the league stands for. And it's a different animal, man. And it's hard to play and it's hard on your body. You just know I'm playing high school and playing some college. It's hard. You know, and physically you can break down at any given moment. And more more talking about breakdown. Mentally, you can break down. For anybody that going to NFL, playing quarterback, or even the soft, soft league it is today, anybody that spent 10-plus years in the NFL got my respect. Every day waking up, grinding, busting your ass, lifting weights, film studying, and your body and your, your mind just mentally break down and chip over time. It's tough to do. Everybody can't be Tom Brady. Everybody can't be, you know, uh, Dan Marino, Joe Montana, John Elway. And every player just can't have that longevity. Sometimes you got to know when to say goodbye. And, you know, Doug Baldwin, I respected him a lot, man. He a dude that worked his way up, think he was undrafted. And, you know, polished his route running, became a problem on the outside and the inside. And in my opinion, it's sad that they got to end like this. And this Seattle era is just tearing apart. I mean, you can go back to what it, what it was. Sidney Jones, you know, when he got injured, career ended injury for him. Cam Chancellor, career in the injury to him. I seen him in the draft the other day. Um, now Doug Baldwin, injury. Richard Sherman, injury. I mean, a lot of these dudes are getting injured. They just show you Seattle was one of the youngest teams a couple few years ago. And all of a sudden, a lot of their roster is going to be, you know, retiring. And that's just the beast of the, fo- of the football. But for Baldwin, they need Baldwin because he know when to sit down in those zones. He know when to – he just know – got to feel Russell Wilson. When the plays break down – he knows how to, you know, come work back towards the ball, make himself quarterback friendly, and make it and be open, man. So it's, it's gonna be different looking at Seattle. I forgot when they got, I think it's Sidney Jones, when they had him, and then he was gone. Then they had Perfy Harvey. He showed up in the Super Bowl. That was it. He was gone. Not seeing Marshawn Lynch no more. Who just retired. Cam Chancellor who retired. Richard Sherman who got let go, who got who was able to get let, uh, go over to the Forty Nineers. Blue was Achilles out. It's, it's it's a league that's not for long, and this was one of the youngest teams out there. And now you throw Doug Baldwin in there as well, too. You know, and what hurts is that they gave up that, they threw that interception and let the Patriots win the Super Bowl. So it is what it is, man. You know, but uh, much love to Doug Baldwin if he chooses to step away. 89 is definitely one of the dopest Seahawks in Seahawks history, man. You know, I'm not saying that he's Steve Largent or nothing like that, but his story is just incredible, man. Hopefully they keep a brother like that around the organization and pass down some of that camaraderie and that knowledge to the younger players, but good fellow sports TV. Once again, I appreciate it. I'll link the article in the description. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze at the Hellblaze.com. Promo code good fellow one boxing gives you 18% off the hundred percent all natural products. I'm telling you, go check them out, man. Uh, and they make them hundred percent. They sell right here in the United States. So check them out. Use that promo code 
Other than that, don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, acquire response or video request. Other than that, continue to share the videos the best way to donate. Check the Patreon out. And, man, let me know what you guys think about Bug Walwood, man. He was one of my favorite guys to watch. Polish receiver, tough guy. One time for the one time, we gone.